everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of The Meta Settings. It's Europe Advanced Progressive Capitals. I'm Vampire Chicken. I'm a grandmaster at the game, and I'm always looking to have a fun time. So we got a split Spain, a splain, a, a Spain of pain. You can't spell Spain without pain. I don't know what this is, but there's something funky there. These Russia blizzards suggest that there's some funny stuff potentially in Russia. I get to go second. So I could go here and try to defend from... Where can I... I don't know. There's some funny Russia stuff because all the blizzards are in there. Uh, noob corner. It's a little bit blocked up here, but not like a one-point hold that seems so obvious to me. Because of this split, you can hold this stuff. I don't know. The blizzards are impactful, but how so? I think it's pretty obvious that now is the time. The time... For the Smastopol Gambit. Are you ready? I don't think I've ever taken Smastopol. Only purple is gonna know. <laughs> but what better time than now? The only meme I know that I haven't really tried in all of Risk is the no Smastopol, no win. So I'll see if I can get this. This bonus is also kind of split, but like barely kind of the giant Eastern Europe one. And we'll see if we can pull it. I'm just here to have a fun time. I don't see where anybody else is placing their capitals, which is very strange to me. Hopefully purple goes right here, obviously, so I can yoink that. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Will I find anybody? I assume I should die, or even worse. Worse than dying immediately is playing a long endgame from Sphastopol, where I get easily two-point card blocked. In some endgame, my cap just is blocked. It's just, it's over. So it's obvious why Sphastopol is the meat that it is. But will we be able to do something from here? I guess I try to go for, like, Russia first or something. But I have to, a lot of people get to go before me. I guess. I mean, there's other stuff. If nobody's over here, who knows? Maybe I could grab a turn one Spain or something silly. Purple goes over there. I could yoink Purple's cap. Wait, I could get a cap that's not Sphastopol on turn one, potentially. <laughs> Wait, maybe I just go, but then, you know what? I could switch with Purple. I just slam them and then they hit me. And then like, we just switch. Without a cap, what are they gonna get? Like five? You get three, four, five, six. They'd still get six. Six on four? Six on four might not work. I think if I slam their cap, I think I might get to keep it if I can win it, <laughs> but I might not win it. That's the other thing. Yellow, we have no idea where they are. I only know where purple is. Okay. I literally only know where purple is. I don't see any yellow. Eight on four. <laughs> this is not, not very good. Oh, not very good. Or the greatest thing that's ever happened to me in the history of Risk. Get on! <laughs> Johnny Oink, your cap is logged on for another day. And I'm back with a vengeance. And I might not even do anything with this fast to pull cap. I might gambit it away. But this is my no fast to pull, no win video. How do you win with Sphastopol? Well, it's quite simple. Take any other cap and then never defend your... It's just the Sphastopol Gambit, dude. What if I never add to it? The Sphastopol Gambit? I just take another cap and then play a totally different game, and if somebody wins that cap, whatever, who even cares? It's Sphastopol? Is that how other people would play it, or would they somehow come up with a creative way to actually win? Oh, Black, are you back there? Hello, Black! Are you back there in Iceland by any chance? <laughs> what are you doing back there? Are you are you going a little crazy? What you're slamming a lot. You're trying to get a lot of territory. Okay. <laughs> we'll see how it goes down. Is purple still here? Purple has bought it out. General Bawa failed to make it to their first turn. They didn't know they were dealing with a psycho when they picked this cap. You didn't know this fast to pulled guy was a psycho? What's wrong with you, dude? Is Black a bot? No, Black probably just took Spain. I think Black has a cap bag here, because why would you not be capped in Iceland? Black actually is going to be a big problem for me. Red is somewhere down here, possibly going for the other. They're going to go for Raja, you psycho. They're getting out of there. Wait, that's very useful. If my goal, I want to come in here, and then I actually want to peek on Black. I'm worried about Black, because I think Black has Spain. I'm actually very worried about going to war with black. 
Okay, Red is doing something in Orient, so we can see a lot of the players now. At least we're going to have a fun game, you know? At least we're going to have a very fun game. That's fastable cap for as long as I have it is just two extra units of generation. You gotta, you gotta love it. <laughs> but I think we're just gonna get, like, I don't, I don't know. I could keep it and try to use it, but that, it just seems so weird. I have a lot of choices on what I can possibly do here. Like, just taking Scandi in and of itself might be reasonable. Is Orange back here? I have no idea. Well, let's get to know who we're playing with today. We got Oshkar7 with the yellow troops. Yellow, I think I have the least understanding of where they are, but they start with six, so they don't have a bonus. That means you got to be this guy, right? They're going to be like in here or something. They could also be like logically here in the middle, but I don't know. For some reason, I feel like I'm in the noob. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> a noob would like be here on like a, a really silly camp or something. I don't know. I don't know what Black is up to. Let's let's go for Scandi first, which might allow Black to keep Iceland. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think Yellow has a bonus. I don't think Yellow will mess with me at all. I'm really worried about how many troops Black is about to start with. So let's let's do one of those. But if Black has Spain, they also have this on the back, which is weird. Let's see what Orange does. <laughs> Yellow could be captain here. Why else would they have a three? Like they have a silly, they have a cap here and they're trying to get this bonus, but they're having a hard time. It is 12 for black. Maybe I could have removed them. If their cap, is there, which side is your cap on? It must be on this side. Maybe this is the black cap. I don't know. Or maybe he's in Iceland. I really, I'm having a hard time knowing. Okay. He's going to try to push out this way. He is going to defend against my capital. Okay. If your capital is here and you're putting a six next to me, like, what are you doing, bro? It's going to be kind of difficult to get rid of black. Okay, but black, he doesn't, I was going to actually pull these out at some point. So black is trying to snowball. Stopping black from snowballing is, is kind of expensive at the current moment. But I think he's going to go for all of this now and he's going to require that I stop him. Because that's too much. That's too much, Black. You're doing too much too quick for my liking. Am I actually going to be strong enough, though, to break all of his bonuses? He's got Iceland and he has these two. I'm really hoping his cap is on this side. I suspect that it's in here, though. And if he's hitting my threes, I don't know. Who are you? Aubrey Torre. Can I take them down? We also have Ha Ha Han Han. <laughs> the orange troops. Not getting a lot done. Leonsi Bonsal is trying to do stuff in here. Are they going to find my Svastopol cap? So red is going slow. Orange is going slow. And purple is a bot. The only person going for a snowball here is black. I don't know how I can make it work with them. Because they're going to get very strong. And they're just going to keep expanding if I don't do anything. It's so frustrating. Can I destroy black? Where do you think black has placed their capital? Three for purple. It's going to be... We're going to have to have a, a big turn here. We got to do some big stuff. We shall see what we're capable of doing. Okay. Purple bot is doing whatever it wants to do. Six for yellow. Yellow's still not getting anywhere. Hopefully yellow doesn't break me. I need this to fight black. If yellow breaks me, I mean, all bets are off. I can't really fight black at all. I need at least Scandi, which black maybe doesn't, won't be able to figure out that that's where I am. We don't see yellow doing anything in here. We don't see yellow at all. I feel like yellow must be somewhere down here, but they're not, they're not getting a lot going off the floor just yet. I'm going to full send on black. So let's go here, let's go here, let's go here. No capital, interesting, very interesting. What's over here by, by chance? Is, do you have a cap in here? I'm very curious. You do not. Actually, oh yes, you have been destroyed. <laughs> and I have a three on my cap. Not huge. But we'll see if black can volley back after that one. That was very risky, of course. But then again, the name of the game is risk, isn't it? I think black is capped down here. So I need to remove as much black as possible and then try to snowball very quickly. Because black seems like he's the more aggressive 
kind of player. If he doesn't bot out, maybe he bots out, that would be delightful. But if he bots out, we should be able to, we need to conquer a whole bunch in here. Because black is like good and everybody else is really slow. Maybe orange is going to bot out. Orange? What's the problem, bro? You only got five troops? Did you, is somebody messing with you? Why is orange leaving the game? I don't know. Why? <laughs> my strongest cap, though, I hope you realize, is still Svastopol. <laughs> this is my strong cap. This is the one I'm really banking on. I'm just the Svastopol game. It's just sitting right there. One day someone will find it. Red will find it because Red is going to come in here and then be like, oh, <laughs> I was working so hard to get this bonus. Then there was blue in there. What the heck? <laughs> it's going to be funny. It's going to be funny. So Black gets five. They still have their cap. Let's see if they continue to fight me, which actually might be the best thing for me, because then I can just keep punching them. Oh, this actually does connect through. Ah, wait, I didn't realize. Oh, I thought these blizzards blocked Spain up. It doesn't at all. And it looks like, okay, he's deciding, should he break my bonuses or should he come and fight me? You should break my bonuses, bro. But we'll see how it goes. You should probably break me. I'm not done fighting you. You should probably break me. Okay, good call, good call. Try to hit that cap. You never know. <laughs> I would try it. I would try it. So I'm still holding two bonuses and two caps. And I know that he's in there. And he tries three on twos. Okay, this, this should be an opponent that I'm capable of defeating. Does anybody else ever get anything? How can these other players not be getting bonuses? So I'm going to be in a war with Black. But then as soon as somebody else gets mildly strong, somebody will have an opportunity to look for this. Okay, so Black maybe... Red, sorry, maybe has Russia now. I think red coming and stealing my Svastopol cap on a turn or two here is very likely. But red maybe has Russia. I am not going to touch red until I'm, I'm done with my little war here with black. I just hope that I don't, you know, blunder all of my capitals or anything. We know purple bot is here. Maybe more in here. There's also some purple all over the place. I don't know. I'm just starting to, to keep a little track of who's who's got what. And we'll see how it goes. Yellow gets nine. Okay, yellow is cooking with some gas now. Yellow got something. What's nine? They got something in here? Maybe they got in here? That should be completely fine. Uh, we should be defending at least one of these caps. I don't know. Possibly this one. We're just. I think it's funny to never, ever, ever put anything on Svastopol and just run the Svastopol gambit the whole game. Just say, you know what? I never... I, I just took it, and then I never added anything to it. In my mind, there's some hilarity to that. Yellow's been in a long time in draft here trying to work up what to do. They don't know it, but they could pop in, and they'd see a very weak capital if that's how they decided to play the position. <laughs> Yellow is getting some stuff done now. They're doing just a couple attacks. Nothing too much, really. Not trying to snowball or anything. I love it. I love it. Should give me a little bit more time to maybe focus on what I'm trying to achieve in life. I'd say six cap is great. Whatever, I don't sweat that black has a two in there. We can eliminate that at some point. Let's come in here. Let's see how much of this we can remove. <laughs> black at some point will turn in and remove some of this. But this should be sending a powerful message that you're not gonna be able to mess with me too much. Um, suppose I'll put this on the capital. I don't know, I could put it here, but I just think a seven cap is not really that big of a cap. Orange is having a hard time getting a bonus. I think red will have Russia. I think yellow has something. I don't even know what it is. It's either, it's one of these two. Yellow, I think, is down here somewhere. Orange is not able, orange must be down here somewhere and just unable to, to get anything done. But I'm going to continue to win this war. If black ever gives up, then I'm actually going to be strong enough to come conquer, like, insane amounts of the middle of the board or you know, end my war against Black dramatically. It won't shock me if Black turns in early, but I hope that he does, because it'll make him weaker in the long run. Five for Black. <clears throat> so he was to make this a six. <clears throat> Punch this. Probably break one bonus, but probably not be able to make it all the way to the rest of my bonuses. Also, he's using every single one of his troops to hit me, which means he has even less on his capital. He, you can try to be nice. You can try. Maybe I'll let you hold that bonus. Yeah, maybe maybe not, though. Maybe not. So he's going to try to break me. I think you have to, but you're kind of going to die. You can try to be peaceful. You can try to be nice. You can try a four on two, and you can get it. Congratulations. But now we're just going to continue to punch black as hard as possible. 
<laughs> and I doubt that if this is his cap, and I figure this must be, I cannot imagine that he has all that much on it, to be honest. It really just cannot possibly be that much, you know? <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. <clears throat> yeah, his game has been ruined. Uh, he can hope that other players get strong and then mess with me. 14 for red. Red has all of Russia. I think red is going to come here and see the Sevastopol cap, and they might take it, and I'm that's fine. I don't, I'm, not, I'm over it. I'm just going to give that up. I need to beat black because red is actually going to get kind of strong. Red being strong could become an issue at some point if they decide to come after me, but they're they're far away for now. They see the capital. <laughs> if I don't want red to break it, I should add to Sevastopol. But it's, I don't know. I wonder if he's ever going to hit. He leaves a three there. That's funny. And he brings some troops, some random fortify. I don't know. Maybe he's going to be nice with me. Uh, purple might turn in. If purple turns in, it means black will potentially get a bigger turn into me than whenever they decide to turn in. I don't need to turn in just yet, but it's most likely that black will get a bigger turn in than me. What happened? Did, did purple just hit this a little bit? <laughs> Is that what happened right there? Um, 10 for yellow. So yellow's getting bigger. I hope yellow's here and red is here and then these two collide. That would be ideal, but not necessarily the way it's going to go down. Maybe they're going to be nice to each other and maybe that's not how it's going down. You never know. Yellow doesn't usually do that many attacks. Ah, okay. Yellow is in there trying to take Orient. So they're next door neighbors to red. Yellow has one of these, probably the bottom one, but maybe they have this and they're going to be next door neighbors to red. Otherwise, they're just going to keep expanding. If they're good neighbor, they go left and they expand this way. Otherwise, they'll butt heads with red, which is what we can hope for. Geographically, there's not a lot of people over by the noob corner, which makes it kind of a safe haven for me. Um, I'm actually going to punch you as hard as humanly possible. <laughs> and let's see what's on your cap. I, I cannot imagine you have like that much on your capital. Oh, okay. Wait, I changed my mind. Maybe you do. Let's just knock Black out of there and let's send him a powerful message <laughs> about what he should be expecting in the future. Had I turned in and had four? I don't know. This is probably all of Black. Not 100% sure. But <laughs> if nobody messes with me, we're going to have a good next turn. And this is the turn somebody could mess with me, right? Yellow could come up and find me now. Red could start breaking me. Somebody could start to be worried because I'm putting up some big numbers. Oh, I do know where orange is. Wait, how, how, I didn't think I, I do know where orange is now. So if black punches his nine, it obviously ruins his game. Has he bought it out now? Okay, the bot will hit my nine because the bot doesn't care. Well, this obviously ruins black's game. So now they have been defeated. And now we can, we can hope that our other opponents have run into each other. Because <laughs> orange is here. But then there's yellow all around orange, and then red is up here. So geographically, like, I'm actually in a very good position. And maybe somebody is preventing orange from getting this. So orange must be mad at somebody. I don't know who. Red is going to just try to take this bonus. So red is very good neighbor. <coughs> they're not going to yank yoink my Smastable cap, or maybe they are. Red is going to hit this, and then they're going to try to take this bonus as well. Not my Smastable. What will I do? We need to remember that there's a cap on Sevastopol. Ah, Red is going to go for this bonus now. I thought they were coming in for Daenerys Alps. I'm not really sure if Red is a friend or a foe at this current moment. They're just bringing more troops in. But they go for the... They, they, they take the Sevastopol cap because I didn't defend it. Fine. <laughs> Bot also didn't break me here. Uh, purple Bot, I was going to say, maybe is somebody that we should try to eliminate on the next turn, but maybe not if they turn in. But maybe soon, because purple bot should be very easily killable. First things first, I'm going to get my priorities straight. I'm going to try to eliminate black and win this capital. Um, I, I doubt that anybody saw it. I wonder who was here. Maybe like purple bot was here or something. Because it doesn't feel like anybody saw it. Looks like purple bot is going to go for Italy and maybe break me, but they don't. Okay, cool. 10 for yellow. <clears throat> Maybe yellow has a cap here and they're the one that's breaking orange. I'm not sure. <coughs> I'm not sure who orange is mad at, but probably not red. Red seems friendly. I mean, they stole my cap, but like I didn't defend it. Red seems like the friendlier, good neighbor kind of player. But maybe yellow does have big decisions to make. Or maybe yellow knows about this cap and can somehow take it. I don't know. 
I'd be very surprised if black was anywhere else. Could they be on this square? Maybe? I don't know. I just, I would be surprised. If I, if I don't make the elimination on black, I'll be surprised. <coughs> As always, every turn, this cap is yoinkable, but nobody really knows or is paying attention or who knows what. But once we come down here, we'll start to get a bigger picture as to uh, what's going on beneath. And then maybe we can just start expanding into the middle of the board here. Or deciding if there's an opportune moment to maybe attack red or something. Maybe we can pick a new opponent, okay? We destroyed one player. Time to pick another player and see what we can do. But I need to figure out which two are fighting. Two of these guys are definitely fighting. Definitely. It must, somebody, Orange is fighting somebody, and I'm not exactly sure who it is. Hey. Hello, Black. This is not going to give me a turn in, but this should be should be a kill on Black, I would assume. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this. Hopefully that's all of them. It is indeed. I see some purple in there. Purple might have this bonus. It might be worth breaking this just to make sure. I think I'm actually going to leave this as my stronger cap. And I'm going to pull these guys back to here. Let's go with that. Now we, we possibly can make an elimination on purple on the next turn. It would be for uh, it'd be for a not particular it'd be for a 15 trade. No, you're gonna turn in. It's possible that eliminating purple will be fine. Let's see if Orange who just turned in does something. They go back. That means they're going into yellow, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think orange is fighting yellow. I think this is yellow down here. So I think orange just came in. I don't know how much damage they did. <clears throat> and Orange might be ruining their own game. No, they still have a 23 cap. 15 for Red. So Red is actually the stronger player positionally. They have Russia. It was a Vastapol cap and who knows where else. I don't know where the Red cap is, but it probably is up here somewhere. I saw most of this. I don't know where the Red cap is, to be honest, which is funny. What if Red's not even close to Russia? He has a stupid cap somewhere else. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it's quite worth killing purple yet, which is weird. But strategically, it would be nice to get purple off the board and then just focus on fighting these guys. Let's see if red does anything crazy. Red's the kind of guy that could try to mess with me or do something untoward to me. He's thinking a long time in the draft phase. Okay. I think he's going for this bonus now. Why not? That's the that's the greediest thing. Maybe he tries to take everything. Take this and then come up and somehow take all of this. That would be the greediest. So maybe that's what he does. Okay, he possibly has this other big bonus. I don't know that I want Red to get it. Red's turn there was very slow. Unusually slow. Kind of strangely slow. Purple bot turns in. Purple's going to open me up. So they go here and then they're going to hit this. So I do have probably a direct line onto a, a elimination of purple here. I got to remember there's a little bit of purple in here. So we know red doesn't have this bonus at least. I don't know. I don't have to kill purple here, of course. I can set up to do it a little bit later, but purple will be getting a relatively big trade at some point. 20 trade? I don't know. Just would be easy enough to do. Yellow, they were broken. They were broken by orange. Orange is fighting yellow. I think that we've pegged that correctly. I do not know how strong yellow is. I assume orange doesn't know about this three, so maybe I have some secret guard on yellow that orange is unaware of, but I don't know that orange is winning this war against yellow. That being said, maybe yellow doesn't want to play the game anymore. <laughs> maybe yellow doesn't want to play. So I think my options are full, kill purple, full send on red. These are options. They all lead to different interesting prospects. I assume just slamming red as hard as possible may yield some interesting results. I'm not exactly sure where all of his capitals are, but I know red has fast to pull. <laughs> He's somewhere in Russia right now hiding. Yellow botting out. What does it mean? He hasn't bought it out yet. I don't know. Let me go for... Let me just take the kill on purple, I suppose. Let's hope that this is enough. Uh, excuse me? Oh, I haven't even turned in yet? Wait, that's how many I got and I haven't even turned in yet? Are you crazy? Um, this won't give me a turn in, but we'll be set up to do things soon. Let's make sure that we can get all of this. Oh, there might be more purple in here than I realize. Is there any purple in here? Oh, there could be purple in there. This could be bad. There's your capital. Okay. So yellow can see all of this. Ah, there is purple in there. Shoot. Okay, let's just put these guys back on cap. There's probably purple right here. I think I just fed the purple kill to red. Well played, red. 
I don't, he, Red can probably figure out that that's what I just did. Well played. Is yellow a bot? They are. Okay, so the bot's going to roll off this way, and then maybe orange will find it. Uh, okay, so 16 to red. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have put a bunch more up here. I didn't think, I just, I, I was kind of guessing. Or maybe purple's in here? I would doubt it. I think they're right here. I think, but maybe I'm wrong. Red doesn't seem to be going for the purple kill, but maybe they have it, and they're also setting up to do some other stuff. I'm not sure. They're defending there, so they're going to come into Daenerik. Oh, they're being very passive. Oh, okay, I think I can easily win a war against Red. I just think I just think I got the skills required to do it. I think I'm going to snowball and win this game. From Svastopol, the Svastopol snowball. Step number one, never defend Svastopol. Step number two, <laughs> yoink another cap. Step number three, defeat one player. Step number, what step are we on now? But purple just turned in. Am I going to see purple come this way and hit red? If they did go here, they maybe are breaking red. Maybe I don't have to do anything to red. Maybe the bot is taking care of it. I just don't know where that bot is. Maybe I could kill yellow if yellow doesn't turn in. Ah, oh, they were right in there. Okay, cool. So we know where purple is and red didn't kill them. But <laughs> it's only for one card now. This bot loves me. This bot is only fighting red. Yeah, I should have looked in there. I knew there was a very small chance... I thought I had seen all of these squares because I saw red come off of one of these, but I think there was one that I didn't actually see. So I didn't double check. Now there's a stupid bot right there. Yellow presumably rolls this way. Unless orange opened them up, then they will roll this way. Okay. I assume killing yellow is actually the play because they got slammed by orange. And now they're fully off cap. I assume the play is to kill yellow. And we might as well turn in to do it. We're not going to get a turn in from it, but I mean, come on, man. You see me? You see me? You see me? You see me? Hello? How much of this does yellow have? Yellow has like all of this, huh? Okay, which way do I path it? To go into orange next? Oh, red got that capital. <laughs> Wait. Big decision time. Can I kill orange? No, I don't even get a turn in from that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Let's just put these bad boys back here. So let's take the elimination on yellow. Now we got five cards again. We're set up to have even more fun on our next turn. Orange, since he always breaks this bonus, who knows? Maybe he's about to go crazy on me. But maybe orange is going to let me snowball. I don't know. I guess he's going to be chill with me. He sees red. He must have already had that knowledge, or maybe he didn't. I don't know. He's just grabbing a bunch of territory. He's not getting any of these bonuses, but he leaves me alone. No, he breaks me. Okay, whatever. He's going to go look at the cap. He's, he's, whatever he was doing with yellow, he's trying to do it to me. But I'm a little bit different. I'm built a little different than yellow. Uh, thanks for opening my cap, bro. 24 for red. We should probably start taking care of red. If I turn in and I kill purple, red might be trying to kill purple here. Okay, maybe red is trying to kill purple. He, that's not enough. Oh, maybe he has enough. Okay, red should be able to kill purple, but it's only for one card for him. But if I kill purple, I get two cards, which will set me in. So he should go for this. No, he's going to try to attack me. Okay. So, all right, fine. That's actually not a problem because I can set, kill purple, set again, full send on red. And I think orange is just going to sit there and, and just watch it all happen. I am, I, I think I must still be quite a bit bigger than red, who I think I will easily be able to defeat based on the performance that I'm seeing out here tonight. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Sometimes you just get a good a good gut feel on the situation. Sometimes the heart is informing me that I might have the toolbox to defeat this player. Let's see if I am correct. So eight for purple. So purple just has this whole bonus. Purple is worth eliminating first, in my opinion. Uh, but we actually don't want to open Svastopol, maybe. I think we just pummel red. Red has five cards, though. It'll be a fun fight. It'll be a fun fight. Watch I open his fastable cap. My caps are not very strong. So red turning in and being able to yoink one of my caps, it's uh, it's a very possible scenario, to be entirely honest. Yeah, this is a lot of troops, but can I get a couple more, please? Let's try to get one more turn in right here. Okay, let's, let's eliminate these guys. <clears throat> and then let's, uh, let's see what we can do to red. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna leave... How many do I, th do I think that I need? Oh, I don't get a turn in, actually. Oh, wait. Actually, I'm so bad at risk. Oh, I'm actually not gonna get a turn in. Wait, this helps a lot. Wait, breaking him helps a lot. But I'm actually not... Does he have any other bonus? 
No, I think we broke all his bonuses. I have a, some, some weaknesses on some of my capitals. I think he's going to find this one before he finds the other one. I'm not sure. Hang on. I don't know. Just be like a... Just, just be like that. That's fine. I think that's fine for now. We'll see how this goes. So Red is going to turn in, and they're going to hit me very strongly, I would suspect. They're going to get a 40 trade. They're going to be able to do some heavy stuff. Orange is just taking all these cards in a bonus that they can't get because Red has a cap right here. It was like a 20-something, 30 cap, something like that. I think that's the size. So Red had a cap here. Maybe this is where Red actually started. This must have been their initial cap. Red didn't get a bonus, right? They get nine because they have two caps in a lot of territory. Is this is this true? Okay, that's an interesting way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's going to explore down there, or he's at least just going to break that bonus. Okay. Red actually, you know, he knows where stuff is. But I don't think he's going to do enough. If you want to you wanna hurt me, you're, you better full send here. You better really do some very heavy damage because I also have five cards. And I have a particular set of skills. <laughs> and then Orange is going to be a bit of a wild card. Maybe Orange has just been chilling, but maybe they, they come up with something interesting. Orange might actually be trying to get this cap. It's quite possible Orange is waiting for a turn in and they're going to hit this 25 cap. That is very possible. I would like to focus on one opponent at a time. Are you going to break all my bonuses? You're not going to break all of them. He's very slow as well. Yeah, he's, he's not quite quick enough to do this. <laughs> he's grabbing bonuses rather than breaking bonuses. Breaking bonuses is kind of like an afterthought. Um, I just don't want Orange to hit this. I think a 35 means that they won't hit it. And everybody else, you're coming with me. We're going to go hit red. <laughs> Um, let me show Red how it's done. If you're gonna hit me, you better shoot to kill, you know? You better you better do some damage. You better be be hitting stacks. You better be doing some damage here, okay? Not opening up your Svastopol. Why do you got 20 outside external to your Svastopol cap? Like, what, <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's just roll this down a little bit. <laughs> it, it makes no sense in my mind what they're doing. But who knows? Whatever. They got they got their, their game plan, and I got mine, I guess. Let's put this somewhere where Red is going to open it up. Maybe they have a trade-in, maybe they don't. Red is going to open that up for sure. Let's go ahead and put those guys here so that they're active to go do something. Let's see what Orange comes up with with their trade-in. It's very possible that Orange punches me very hard and then stacks their cap, which would make this maybe the most difficult. They are They're chilling? What are they doing? Okay, so Orange is going to start playing. So an alternative plan was to try to kill Orange there. Are they going to go find my 18 cap and yoink it? This is very possible. Okay, this is starting to get spicy. They're all okay. They're only sending 14 up, but they're going to see the cap now. Okay, so it's it's me versus both of these guys. My target has been red. He's going to go take that cap or what? I, may, I maybe should have focused on Orange there. Just to make sure that I could eliminate them. He, Orange wants to go take a look at all the caps. Orange is doing a lot of damage to me. If I don't have a turn in, this is this actually could be bad. I do have a turn in. I need to like kill somebody now. I need to kill somebody. Cause this is otherwise this is gonna be kind of brutal. Fighting both is gonna be very tough. I think I should have focused Orange there. Oh my god. I think I focus Orange now. I don't think Orange put anything on his capital. <laughs> I don't think Orange put anything on the capital. And I think we actually focus orange now. The problem is red is now going to hit me a bunch. But red just saw orange hit me a bunch. And red did have a turn in. Okay, very good for them. So, okay, if red just hits me a bunch. Hopefully they don't hit this 25. I need to come down and, like, steal this orange cap. Or maybe this 35 is enough. Maybe, if, actually, if I just start from this 35, uh, maybe I can kill orange. Because I think he left everything off cap. I think. I don't think orange has anything on. So the goal is to kill orange, which won't set me in. Red will be very strong, but we assume that we can outplay them in an endgame. Hopefully they don't hit my 25 here, but they probably do. Yeah, they just blast my 25. That stinks. Okay. That was a blocker for red. But I, I guess it's orange that we full target now. Uh, uh, I probably misplayed this slightly, but that's all right. I think we still have, have good chances here. If we can kill orange and get into a 1v1 with red, I'll be happy enough with that. So let's put everybody here. How much do you think they have over here? Okay. So this actually was not enough. We're going to have to use even more. But literally, they did not defend their... 
their capital at all. This is uh, presumably way too much. We'll get to see the red cap. Okay. Um, so we should be able to do this. Okay. Let's just path this correctly. This should be enough. Should be enough. Okay. We've eliminated orange. Now, our, our caps, I would argue, the potential for a cap run, I would argue, is insanely high for my opponent. I would argue that the potential cap run here is quite high. But can my opponent figure it out? They're not going to have a trade in. They have to hit a 20 cap and a 13 cap and then find all the rest. I don't think they're even going to attempt it. Cool. And we'll see how red plays in this end game. I assume that I'm still going to outplay red and win this end game easily. So somehow I think I'm still going to win, which is crazy. Hit it. Yeah. Wait, don't get good dice like that. Hang on. Wait, now he's dreaming of the cap run. But I don't think he has it. Somehow this 35 would have to come all the way through and get the 20. He shouldn't be able to cap run. Please tell me I have a trade on four. Oh, yuck. Oh, yuck. Red actually might win. Oh, if I don't have a trade on four, red actually might win. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's so disgusting. I don't have a trade. Red actually might win. He's going to be able to cap run on the next turn. I don't know if he knows it, but he's going to be able to cap run on the next turn. Oh, my God. No trade is horrible. He's not going to defend that cap or something? I don't know. That's fine. Okay, we're not worried about the caps. Oh, wait, never mind. Hang on. Never mind. So let's just hit red a whole bunch. Um, I don't think we need to... I mean, whatever. What I'm open Oh, you opened up his 10 cap. Dude, have you been watching the same game as me? I don't think it... Oops, I actually slipped in. What do you have on here? Why, why are you defending as fast to pull cap the way that you're doing it? Here's my plan. Hit this guy so hard that it blinds him. And then just defend the caps that we got. And we'll see if we can pull anything off on our next turn. 11 for red. We actually have an insane amount of territory and they don't have a turn in. Let's see how they how they decide to handle this. Because they can punch me like a whole bunch. I don't know if I can cap run. If he has a 35 cap, I probably can't. But I should be able to, to do something pretty, pretty good on the next turn with a trade in. Let's see. So they're going to try to break as many bonuses as they can, I would assume. If I can win this cap and this cap on the same turn, I think I'd be doing some crazy stuff, to be entirely honest. Because then this one is easy to card block. And kind of so is this one. Because whatever, red will use this. It, it, there should be some easy way to card block them. And I still hold so much of the map. I got 62 different territories at the current moment. Simply quite a lot of territory, if you ask me. Okay. So he's breaking some bonuses. These bonuses are hard for him to get to and break, which is very fortunate. Come off cap. Come off cap at the last second. Okay. Here we go. Put me back in. Um. Let's do let's do this. Can I cap run? Wait a minute. I might be able. What but I need like 70 or something. I can't cap run. I, there's no cap run. The goal is to go here. Well, that's uh, far more than a sufficient amount. So let's go see if we can get this capital. Oh, I, I, I slid horribly. Or as some might say, oh, I thought I could get to the 12 from here. Wait, I'm actually the worst risk player of all time. Hang on. Wait a minute. Am I the worst risk player ever? What is wrong with me? What is wrong with me? Okay. <laughs> that was quite bad. That was quite bad. Um... All right, we'll see if he's got uh well if he's got a trade in he can or no he doesn't have a trade in. Yeah, no, he could have a trade in. If he has a trade in he can hit that. My bad. I, I did that quite poorly. I thought I was going to I thought I had a path to hit the 12 cap. But turns out I'm quite bad at risk, but I should still be winning even if he has a trade in and I don't. He doesn't, neither do I. So now he can come hit as much as he wants. He's got to come off like all these caps. Oh, he might go take that eight cap, which would be funny. I hope that he does hit it. <laughs> he's starting to realize, oh, he's just burying himself in. He's just burying himself in. Open up my eight cap so that you're like, oh, man, it was just an eight cap. I could have got it. Comes out as fast to pull. Let's see which direction he goes. He's going to prioritize taking Russia. And he's going to let me hold a bajillion bonuses again. So even if I've misplayed this endgame quite badly, I think that I'm still going to be able to win it. I don't think this was the model technique, but somehow we're getting it done. 
Yeah, but that's kind of my... That was me in chess, opening, fantastic, also a little dubious. Dubious, but really good. Then my endgame technique, basically unspeakable. <laughs> <laughs> I play Risk the way that I, I used to play chess, you know? It's got it's got a very similar feel. Um okay, give me one of these. Give me one of these. I'm not even gonna hardly defend this. I'm gonna do one of these. I'm gonna do one of these. Uh I'm gonna do one of these. Cause there's no way he's getting to that cap to find it. <laughs> I'm trying to make him use his 35 cap. That's why I left the 26 here. If he doesn't have a trade-in, maybe we can end him now. Let's see what he what he comes up with. He's very sad, but he's boxed in on this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's going to come try this side. That's what I was hoping to get him to do. So I have a 26 in the way that'll just act as a little bit of a speed bump, but hopefully he hits it. Or hopefully he hits the 14 cap and gets like a particularly bad roll. Because if I have a trade-in, even if I don't... Oh, no trade-in. Okay. No trade-in means I can probably win now. Or maybe 100% I can win now. I think we just simply win. We'll take the world dom. Because that's just how I feel about it today. I'm, I'm just in a world dom-y kind of mood. We'll hit him right here. And we'll say, good game. Well played. And the last capital that we take is this Fastable cap, my original starting cap. It all started as Fastable, and it all ended in Fastable in today's event. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Uh, it was fun, we were snowballing. Maybe the end game could have been improved a little bit, but we just beat a beginner, 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 beginner. That's the way to do it. If you don't want to be a beginner, make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys for the next video.